Welcome back to Advanced Gameplay Programming with Unity. In this section, you will learn how to script in C Sharp for Unity and how to add those scripts component to game objects. Today, we're gonna start with AI and non-player character development in games using Unity 3D and C Sharp. The first step is a little introduction to vector mathematics. If you want to move a character around in a 2D or 3D scene, you need to use vector mathematics. In this example, we will learn how to move the game object in a straight line using vectors. In this code, we're gonna work with the move script. We're gonna start with creating a vector 3 variable contains the destination we wanna reach. This vector will be initialized to 36 on the x direction, 0 in the y direction, and 34 on the z direction. Let's save and go back to Unity and let's see what happens. What you're gonna see, your player will jump from position 1 to position 2 because we added the translate method in the start function. Now let's go back to our script and let's change the value of our step and let's put it in the update method. Now let's save and go back to Unity and let's test our code to see the variable x and y, uh, x and z are increasing with time, but 0 1 is not enough, so let's change it with 4. Now let's try again. As you see, our player, the speed of our player movement translation increases. Before that, let's speak about vector normalizer. A vector is a line drawn between two points A and B. A vector also has a length, we call it magnitude. For example, if x equal to 4 and y equal to 3. So, uh, magnitude square equal to the value of x square plus y square. So, sorry m is equal so m equal to square root of x square plus y square so let's change the uh, x and y with its value so it's x uh, it's 16 plus 9 so m equal to the square root of 25 m equal to 5 so this is the code you should use if you want to move a character around in a 2D or 3D scene. 